All right, tonight we have an update on that Glendale woman who discovered the house she bought it is a house of horrors. For any sites, Gary Harper joins us now with new information. This viewer bought what she thought was a beautifully remodeled home. What she didn't know, though, is that the home had a history, and that history was reportedly covered up with no permits. Mary Lynn Elmina can finally see the light regarding the nightmare she's had with her Glendale home. Yeah, I am very happy. Um, it's like a new life for me. I will begin from, from zero, like this never happened. She may be happy now, but that wasn't the case in January when she first spoke to Three on Your Side. The house was sold to me like brand new, nothing is ready to move in. Mary Lynn explained how she loved living in her home. That is until a few months ago when the, she discovered it was once a shocking house of horrors. <laughs> These disturbing photos were taken back in 2011, about five years before Mary Lynn bought and moved into the house. The pictures depict a significant number of cats along with animal feces and urine. The city of Glendale mailed the pictures to Mary Lynn in June of last year along with his letter telling her that her home at one time was found to be in extremely unhealthful conditions due to animal hoarding and significant animal waste. The city then made a demand. They told Mary Lynn that they now want to make sure her home is fit. They told me that they have to open the walls and to check if everything was done properly and they have to open also the walls in the restroom to check the electric work because they, they did a lot of changes. According to city documents, the previous owner was notified by Glendale to abate or get rid of the deplorable conditions. And if it wasn't done, the city said they had the authority to demolish the house. But Mary Lynn says she never knew her home was the subject of a city investigation. Some people are telling me, oh, you are handling everything uh, so well, but I was crying for the first few weeks a lot. I couldn't talk about the problem. So how did Maryland's home go from this disgusting site to immaculate condition? And why do Glendale officials now want to inspect her home? Well, turns out two Century 21 real estate agents seen here purchased the home as an investment, cleaned it up, and then sold it to Mary Lynn. And according to Glendale, the realtors reportedly failed to get permits. And that's why officials want to take apart Mary Lynn's home to inspect it. When the two realtors failed to return three your side's numerous phone calls and emails, we went to their office for answers. Do you want to call me? Yeah, sure, thanks. We were taken upstairs to speak with Rodica Bartels, one of the realtors who sold Mary Lynn that home. She and John Crow, the other real estate agent, declined to talk to Three on Your Side on camera. However, they did acknowledge to buying and flipping the home as an investment. They went on to say they had no knowledge of the cat hoarding situation. And in a statement from their attorney, it reads, Mr. Crow and Ms. Bartell had no knowledge of any code enforcement actions taken by the city prior to their ownership, in spite of performing multiple title searches during their ownership. So Mary Lynn filed a complaint in Superior Court against the realtors. In her request to the court, Mary Lynn asked for compensatory, special, general, and punitive damages. And in an interview with Three on Your Side, yes, Mary Lynn said she would not be happy at all with any kind of resolution unless the real estate agents bought the house back from her. It was a really stressful. Following Three on Your Side's news report, the matter never made it to trial because it was settled recently through mediation. An attorney representing the two realtors tells Three on Your Side that the matter is now resolved, but he declined to give any details. And this document filed with the court and obtained by Three on Your Side also confirms the parties resolved the matter. But again, no details were provided. Still, Mary Lynn says she is extremely happy with the outcome and Three on Your Side's involvement. I believe like it was a great idea to contact you. Probably I should have contacted you earlier at the beginning of the process. Um, everything went like really fast after I called you. Uh, and I am happy with the result and I, like especially I don't have to go to court. <laughs> Nobody wants to deal with that. Specific details about this resolution will be released within the next couple of weeks. When they are, I'll let you know in a follow-up report. But again, Mary Lynn says she is extremely happy with the outcome. I'm Gary Harper, three on your side.